for the record, you are an accomplished scientist. You have two bachelor's degrees in science and you're pursuing a PhD in pharmacology. Just let me slam that, mic drop that moment to say that's incredible. The fact that you're a scientist, did that help you on, on kind of managing stress through the pageantry tree because you kind of understood at least some of the chemistry behind it and biochemistry? Having a scientific mindset when you're going in to solve a problem helps to reduce the overall stress of the entire situation. And I think that one of the biggest ways that I manage my stress is to actively prevent it from occurring, especially in those situations. So the more prepared I am, the less stress I'm going to actually encounter. And I always say that I use the scientific method to help me win Miss America because I kind of observed what was going around me and I researched ways that I could participate in Miss America without a traditional performing talent. I decided to do the science demonstration to solve my problem and really approach this in a logistical way as any scientist would. And I think that that's what helped me get through it, be successful and uh, reduce the stress along the way. Can you talk to us about a specific moment during that Miss America process where you were stressed and then how you got through it? The most stressful moment through that process actually related to my talent performance. And mostly because candidates don't oftentimes do a science demonstration on the Miss America stage. The catalytic decomposition of hydrogen peroxide is the chemistry demonstration by Camille Schreier, Miss Virginia. There wasn't a lot of precedent for me to understand how to do this logistically. And so the logistics were the most stressful process of that because I had to figure out, first of all, what demonstration I could do within the guidelines because I could not use fire, I could not use certain things because of safety. But also I had to travel to Connecticut from Virginia. I could not fly with my chemicals. I had to figure out what I would do in terms of how I would clean them, how I would clean them up off of the stage, what type of personal protective equipment I needed to provide the staff and myself. Now in my flasks are concentrated hydrogen peroxide, food coloring, and dish soap. I'm about to pour in potassium iodide, my catalyst, which will start the breakdown. Now this reaction is very simple. It only produces three things, water, oxygen, gas, and heat. The heat is formed from the breaking of the bonds within the hydrogen It oxygen. was definitely a stressful and process, uh, especially during that live telecast when you know that you are presenting yourself in front of who knows how many million people on a national broadcast. And I think that my body just kind of went into, you know, a power mode. I'm just gonna get through this. I'm not really thinking about it, but I was on high alert. I was backstage during a commercial break, quite literally shaking because of my actual biological stress response and trying to pour these chemicals with shaky hands because I was excited and overwhelmed. Never did I imagine in my life that I would be pouring chemicals backstage on a live telecast to win Miss America. But that is something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. And keep an eye out because science really is all around us. And it was a very stressful situation, but positive stress. And I think that that's one of the things that I've realized throughout this whole process is that some stress is positive and some stress is negative. And that was definitely a positive stressor, but stressful nonetheless. You actually constructed this really complicated, very stressful process of your talent. Can you talk to us about that in yeah. the context of picking the higher stress road instead of the path of least resistance? I think in moments where you are trying to put your best foot forward and you're trying to compete for this once in a lifetime opportunity, I went in with the mindset that I was never gonna change who I was and that I wanted to be 100% myself because if I won that competition, I wanted to make sure that who I was was really, really represented. I've loved science since I was a little girl, and now I have the opportunity to pursue the career in science that I had always dreamed of. And so I chose that demonstration, not really considering the difficulty or the stressfulness of it, but because I knew that it was the best representation of who I was. And I think that that's so important throughout our lives to not just make choices because they are easy, but to make choices based upon who we are, what our values are, and what we're trying to do in our lives.